Hey everybody, welcome to Organic CBD Outlet. I wonder, do you or have you or anyone that you love or care for ever suffered from depression? Have you ever felt those thoughts of, um, man, I just don't know if there's a purpose to life? Uh, or have you ever had known anybody who did? Uh, I certainly did. When I was 14, I, uh, I was living in an apartment complex with my mom and I came home from the pool during the summer and saw a bunch of ambulances outside of uh, our apartment. Turns out my mom, uh, who had been suffering from depression, had made an attempt to end her suffering. And uh, as a 14-year-old kid, that was very confusing. Um, I didn't really know what to make of that and um, really gave me a, a, an empathy for people who suffer from this. Um, what I'd like to tell you is, um, a way that you may be able to put an end to that suffering for yourself or for the people that you love without having to take any uh, drugs, without having to go to a doctor, without having to uh, get on any of those prescription meds that can sometimes be addictive and can oftentimes also um, just make you feel like just not in touch. You know, you're just kind of like in a fog, listless and just kind of apathetic. Um, those are the drugs that my mom ended up taking and for years she was just not there. I mean, just a body and no, no real person. So um, what researchers have found is some startling effects of CBD oil on depression. And what I'd like to do in this video is explain to you how it works so you can understand. That way, when you do order some CBD oil for yourself, you can understand how it works and therefore see the benefits even more powerfully. Now there are two ways that CBD oil is believed to help people with depression. And the first is the way that it helps in the brain. And in the brain, you can think of your brain as having billions and billions of receptors. Think of, uh, think of them as little anteaters, little, little tiny anteaters. You know those animals that, are, that have that long snout and they're running around looking for ants? Well, think about the receptors in your brain like that. And those snouts are, are sucking up chemicals that are good for the brain, chemicals like serotonin. Serotonin is known as the happiness molecule, and oftentimes when people suffer from depression, what they, what a doctor will prescribe you is a serotonin reuptake uh, inhibitor. Basically, that's just fancy jargon to um, make sure that the serotonin levels don't get depleted. Now, here's how CBD helps um, alleviate depression in a way that, that chemical drugs can't do. Okay, what CBD does is at the end of that snout, at the end of that anteater snout, imagine that it now has some really sticky, a really sticky uh, substance. That's what CBD does at the end of your brain receptors. It becomes very sticky for the serotonin and therefore replenishes the serotonin levels in the brain, allowing it to go from... Um, being just floating around to actually being processed by the brain. What this does is it gives you a great sense of ease, a great sense of well-being, a great sense of <sighs> everything's okay. And when you feel like everything's okay, isn't it, isn't it so much easier to then go out and make life enjoyable? Isn't it so much easier to then love the people that you're with? Isn't it so much easier to put your whole heart into your work? Isn't it so much easier to get up and go to the gym or go for a run or do whatever the things you used to do before you started feeling this way. So that's the first way. The first way is the way that CBD helps with uh, the brain and the serotonin in the brain. I'm trying to get the lighting right here since uh, I'm out on the balcony. And the second way is even more, uh, more powerful, if you can believe it. In, in your body, there's a, a system called the endocannabinoid system. And this system is, is kind of like, if you've ever seen a, a symphony orchestra, you know, you've got the conductor at the front with the baton, and he's like making sure everything stays in time. The endocannabinoid system is kind of like that. It's kind of like the conductor of all the other systems, you know, the cardiovascular, the nervous system, the muscular system. It's the system that regulates things like your mood, your appetite, uh, your libido, and um, your sleep-wake cycle. Now, Imagine, uh, I don't know if you've ever been um, hangry. You know this term, hangry? It's when you're so hungry that you're angry. Well, depression is, is, is kind of like being hangry perpetually. 
you know, it just, nothing ever feels good. It's, it's a constant sense of dissatisfaction. And what researchers have found is, I mean, just imagine being hangry and tired all the time. This is what it kind of feels like when you're depressed and uh, no matter how much you sleep or how much you eat, it doesn't, it doesn't help because the endocannabinoid system is out of whack. You see, you produce uh, cannabinoids in your body naturally. These are necessary for our well-being. They, uh, they make everything run smoothly. When we encounter stresses in life or trauma, uh, difficulties, those cannabinoids get depleted. And with the way that our life is now so fast-paced, so many toxins, so many um, added chemicals to our food, the cannabinoids get depleted from the body. As a result, they need to be replenished. When they're not, the, the conductor at the, at the front of the orchestra just begins to lose his steam. And then the baton falls out of his hand. The trumpets are playing out of tune. The trombones aren't playing in time. The violins are all messed up. The percussion is not keeping the beat. And everything's chaos. And this is what it feels like inside. Now, what you can do is replenish the cannabinoids in your body. When you replenish the cannabinoids, it's like putting a battery back into the conductor and he suddenly starts keeping time again and then the rest of the orchestra can follow his lead and all of a sudden your sleep-wake cycle is regulated. All of a sudden, your libido is back on track. All of a sudden, you're no longer hangry and you're no longer tired. You've got energy and you just feel good. All of the systems are working in harmony. And this is the really profound way CBD oil helps to relieve and even end depression. You can see this for yourself in the many, many testimonials, the many, many success stories that people post on sites like YouTube or even Facebook, for example, where they talk about how they were at the end of their rope and, or just feeling miserable and not able to even get out of bed. And then with a regular dose of CBD, their life begins to change. Now I say a regular dose because just like anything, right? I mean, we're not just going to eat once and then never have to eat again. A regular dose of CBD is like uh, when, you know, your mom used to prescribe, tell you, take vitamin C all the time. My mom never did that, but uh, <laughs> I know friends who would, um, their moms would say, hey, take some vitamin C every day because it's good for you. Can, uh, CBD oil is the same way. Now you can take CBD oil. Does that make sense, by the way, how the CBD oil relieves depression in two ways. First, in the brain, by putting a, a sticky substance on the end of the anteater's nose so it can attract the serotonin and allow it to be processed. You know, there's, there's serotonin in the brain. It just, even for a depressed person, it just isn't processed by the brain. So that's the first way. It allows the brain to process the serotonin that makes it feel good. The other way is that it restores the harmony and the rhythm of the conductor of all the other systems so that the nervous system isn't freaking out because it's in conflict with the cardiovascular system and the muscular system and you feel all this pain. Instead, everything is running smoothly like a well-oiled machine. So those are two ways. And now there's many, many ways that you can enjoy CBD and it is enjoyable because it's enjoyable to feel good. Now, one, of course, you can... You can take it like a tablet, it's pure CBD, and you just swallow it down. And uh, this is very easy for people who uh, like that type of uh, dosage. You can also smoke it through a, a vape pen if you uh, enjoy that relaxing type of uh, pastime. Another way you can do it, which I'm quite fond of, uh, is you can take it as a gummy. Uh, I, I love the chewy, soft candy. And so, uh, you know, you can take it like a gummy bear type of thing. The only thing there is uh, you might, they might be so good that you take a lot of them at once, which is totally fine. There's, there's no way to really overdose on CBD, but um, you then end up replenishing a lot more regularly, which may be perfectly fine. You may feel even better than you thought as a result. Anyway, the, there are several ways to, uh, to ingest it and receive the benefits. And you can get some quality CBD. It is, it is important, by the way, uh, to, to make sure that the CBD oil that you're getting is quality. Kind of like uh, back in the day when they used to sell fake Rolexes in New York City. And you could walk down the street and get a Rolex for like a hundred bucks. Um, you can go onto Amazon and get uh, what's known as hemp oil or flax seed oil that's marketed as CBD, but it's just not the same thing. So make sure that you get uh, high quality CBD that has 
the, the proven lab results and that it's extracted with the CO2 method. These are some things that are important when you are uh, searching for the quality of CBD to get. Of course, uh, you can take notes on all this and research it, or you could just come over to organiccbdoutlet.com where we source only uh, organic and only CO2 extracted CBD oil. And yes, we do have the gummies, which are delicious. So if you have any questions, you know, if, if you or someone you care about has been suffering from depression and you wonder, man, will this really work for me? Then leave us a comment or, or just come on over and, and try it out and see for yourself and join the many, many people who have received what can only be termed as life changing benefits from this, this plant. Now, you know, as I'm, as I'm having this conversation or well, this one way conversation with you, a question comes up in my mind that might be coming up in your mind. And you think, man, if this is so great, why has it taken so long to, to be discovered? And just a little bit of thinking about the economics of it uh, makes it pretty clear. You know, pharmaceutical companies have made billions and billions of dollars. They, they invest billions of dollars to research different drugs that they can then make billions and billions of dollars on. So, of course, in uh, Washington, they have lobbyists that, that want to protect their profits. So anything that could compete with them, anything that's as natural as, as a hemp plant that grows naturally and can be processed and can be accessible without a prescription, without the, the side effects, then that kind of cuts into their profits. So you can see why they would have a vested interest in not allowing this to, to come to the market. Fortunately, we have broken through that to a bit. Now CBD has been, because of the results that it's gotten, it's, it's no longer able to be uh, kept quiet. So come to organiccbdoutlet.com and uh, choose, the, choose the type of uh, dosage or the type of uh, way to take it that you enjoy best. You can take it as a tablet, you can take it as a vape, or you can take it as a gummy and uh, see for yourself. And then let us know. Let us know how the results are for you so that we can add your story and your life to the ever-growing list of success stories that have been affected by this very powerful and very life-changing plant. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.